in truth, any editing that you do to an image is going to be destructive, but there is a more destructive editing that we want to avoid. So let me break it down because I know that probably sounded confusing. So destructive editing, what I mean by that is making changes directly to your background layer. This is something we want to avoid because when you're making any changes directly to your background layer, it's going to make it hard for you to go back and adjust things if you make a mistake. And it can also... Um, sometimes you can accidentally save over your source image and we want to avoid doing that. So what we want to do is we want to do non-destructive editing. Now there are some changes that you make within Photoshop, for example, the clone tool or the healing brush tool where you can't do non-destructive editing. So what I suggest before using any of those tools is to make a copy of your background layer so you're not making any changes directly to your background layer. But when it comes to adjustments for color and exposure, there is an easier way to do that and that's via the adjustment layers within Photoshop. And so I'm gonna do a brief demonstration just to show you the difference between destructive and non-destructive editing. So I'm going to focus on these salts here and I actually want to change the color of the salts. Um, so I'm going to go up to image and this is the way a lot of people will show you how to do adjustments. Um, I'm going to go up to image and I'm going to go to hue saturation and you can see here, um, I'm going to, I'm going to click on the cyans and that's going to allow me to change, um, anything in the image that is presenting cyan and color. So you can see I'm making changes, um, to the actual color of the salt. So maybe the color of the salts was just a tiny bit off. Um, so I'm changing just the color of the salt and it is affecting the stones a tiny bit. Um, I can also make them, let's say I want to make them a little bit, maybe they're too intense, like they're not as fluorescent, but they picked up fluorescent when I, when I shot the image. I can pull down the saturation a little bit. I can make them lighter. I can make them darker. And I can do cool things to this. And so that looks pretty good. Now the problem is, let's say I'm doing some other edits. So let's then say that I wanna go and I wanna do a levels adjustment and I want to boost my midtones a little bit and make this a little brighter. And now I realize that when I've made this image brighter, it, because I made it lighter under the hue, hue saturation adjustment, now my salts don't look like the right color. And the problem is, is that I've made the changes directly to my background layer. And so my only course of action is to go into my, I can, I can undo, I can go into my history panel and I can, you know, go back to undo, but I can't change this because I've already made the hue saturation. So my only course of action is to go all the way back to the beginning of my image. And so now I have to start completely over with editing my image. But there's a better way to do this. And that's with the adjustment layers. So whenever, um, so I'll just show you here under adjustments, you'll see you have all of these different types of adjustments that you can make. And most of them you can make via an adjustment layer. And that's here, this little half black, half white circle. When you click on that, you see that you have those adjustments. So let's go back to the hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on that and you can see that it makes a new layer. And besides this just being a smaller window, the window is similar. All of the little sliders are the same. So it's going to make the same type of adjustment. So again, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go down to my cyans and I can just adjust the color of the cyans like I did before. I can bring the saturation down. I can make them a little lighter and I can make the same types of adjustments that I did before. And now I can do a levels adjustment and I can bring up the, the mid-tones a little bit and do a levels adjustment and make this a little brighter. But now if I find that these salts look too washed out now, I have more options. Like one, I can just double click here on the picture in the hue saturation layer, go back to my cyans and I can, I can boost up the saturation. So I can make changes to the actual hue saturation adjustment that I did. Or I can double click on my levels and I can pull my levels back up. But if I like the way the levels look on the rest of the image, 
you can see here that it's created a layer mask with each of the adjustments. So I can actually, with a black brush, I can actually go over just the salts and I can brush the adjustment off the salts. So you can make changes and the other thing you can do is you can turn these on and off. So if you've made a lot of different adjustments and something's just not looking right, you can turn the adjustments on and off and you can figure out which adjustment is making things look weird and then you can adjust that individual adjustment. So this is what we refer to as non-destructive editing. I mean, really when you save the image, it's destructive because it's changing the image, but as far as non-destructive editing goes, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about not making any changes directly to the background layer, but doing things as adjustment layers so they can be easily fixed.